The 34th annual Pitcher Mitchell Kelowna Apple Triathlon wrapped up under blue skies and 30 degree temperatures Sunday in Kelowna. Overall, for the entire weekend, we've had more than a thousand racers, um, aging in range from eight years old, and we had a finisher who was 82 years old cross the finish line today. That was 82-year-old Bruce Butcher from Kamloops who crossed the finish line at 2.25.32 on Sunday. Crossing the line first in the Olympic men's division was Sean Wiley Mann of Victoria with a time of 2.02.23. For the women's division, another Victorian took top spot as Lauren Babineau crossed first at 2.18.28. The results today were absolutely amazing. I mean, we've had incredible weather. Um, the water is warm and nice temperature for swimming, which is always can be an issue when it comes to swimming. So it really set the scene when it came to the racers hitting the water. The bike course was great, and we had some really strong runners cross the finish line. Last year, the race was hampered by smoky conditions, but this year, the environment was perfect for the athletes. Last year it was smoke and I know some of the athletes chose to not participate last year and it might have impacted some of race times but athletes really look ahead, they know what they're going into, they, they know their own limitations. No smoke this year, blue skies. Spectators at this year's event may have also noticed a change in pace. This is the 34th year and we did have some new owners take over this year so you'll notice that there's a new um, Pusher Mitchell Kelowna Apple Triathlon branding so we've got a new logo which gave a really cool and fresh feel to it as well. Anybody who's come down to see the event in the past will note that there's a more of an expo feel so we've We've opened up the environment for people to be able to see more of the race. We had food trucks, we had vendors, and that's really feedback that we received from the community that we wanted them to, or they wanted to be more a part of the race, and so we've done that. So we encourage people in the future to come down and watch the triathlon. For Castanet News, I'm Carmen Weld.